When I played the game, I played it for 23 years, every single day, and playing the way it's supposed to be played. Hank Aaron is widely considered one of the greatest to ever play baseball. But before he donned that famous Braves uniform, Aaron took the field in the Negro League. I remember so well my first year that uh, I left Mobile, Alabama. One little coat, two dollars and a half in my pocket. And my mother told me that was all she had to give me and be very careful with it. What was it like playing for the, the Indianapolis Clowns? To play in that league and to play with the ball players that I played with gave me an opportunity to do some things that I wanted to do. Is it true that there was perhaps more talent in the Negro Leagues back then than there was in, in Major League Baseball? I would not doubt it one bit. There was so much talent. In 1954, Aaron made his debut for the Milwaukee Braves. What was it like being a black baseball player, one of just a handful in Major League Baseball back then? It was tough, no question about it. I'm going to read some stats that make you uncomfortable. <laughs> Runs batted in, 2,297. You're first. Extra base hits, 1,477. You're first. Years with 30 or more home runs, 15. Pretty good argument could be made that you're the greatest that's ever played baseball. What do you think? Well, I'm with you. <laughs> Here's the pitch by Downing. Swinging. In 1974, Hank Aaron battled through death threats and public scrutiny to shatter Babe Ruth's longtime career home run record. In 2007, Barry Bonds broke that record in controversial fashion, helped by steroids. You've said in the past that despite the fact he is admitted to, to cheating, you still consider him the home run king. I do. How, how can that be? I knew Barry's father very well, and I got to know Barry a little bit. It's kind of hard for me to digest and just come to realize that Barry cheated in the home runs, cheated at this and that. Barry Bonds and some of these other guys who've admitted to juicing, do you think they belong in the Hall of Fame? Yes. Really? Yes. Even though they, they were on steroids? We've had so many cheaters that have made the Hall of Fame. And I don't see any reason why Barry or any of the rest of them shouldn't make it. Did you cheat? I didn't know how to do anything. I didn't even know how to hold a bat straight. I'd say you had a bat pretty well. But if, if, if Hank Aaron didn't have to cheat. Well, that's true. Barry was a terrific ball player. Pete Rose, should he be in the hall? No. So if, if you bet on the game, you don't deserve to be in. No. But if, if you use drugs to enhance your performance. Yeah. At 86, Aaron is still part of the game he loves, working for the Atlanta Braves and living his legacy. I've always marveled at the fact that, uh, that that you're one of the one of the few living legends that scandal free. Like well, it's uh, how does Hank Aaron want to be remembered? I've been fortunate and lucky in some ways. I would just like to be remembered as someone that said God gave him the talent to play this game, and he did everything humanly possible to make the game the way it's supposed to be played. Mm. Wow. How lucky are you? Well, Hank, Hammer and Hank here, and I just was on my, my list of, of people that I've always wanted to sit down with. I, I did not fully grasp his distinction between steroid use and betting on the game. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I mean, we'll leave that for, for other folks to decide. But. Well, I will tell you, having grown up, uh, he was in baseball for my entire t time on life on the earth since 19, when, when I, I, he retired in 74 or hit the home run. And he, his outsized shadow on baseball, really? how he covers that game, is really unbelievable. It's funny because I asked him about, you know, his last, because he doesn't do a lot. He's no. not a, I said, well, why, why don't you, 
Why don't you do more of this? Why don't you out there selling the game? You know, I said, you, know, you sound like my grandkids. Yeah. My grandkids think that I should and, and when he hit that home run, I mean, the, we knew how great it was, but we also knew, heard about the racism and everything like that. It was an unbelievable moment for so many reasons. Well, as opposed to reading a history book, you had a chance to talk with him. Yeah, it was so it terrific. Was, it was an really honor. Great. Thank you, Mr. Aaron. Thank That's you. That's cool. You. Coming up, uh, our producers. Oh, I didn't know this. Did you know this? It's no. called, that's why it's called a Valentine's they Day surprise. They have a special Valentine's Day surprise for us. What could go wrong? <laughs> yeah. We'll be right back.